Hey guys, and today I'm going to show you a bit of a tutorial on configuring a switch management address. So this is a Cisco Lab 2335. Now it's basically just configuring a switch, it's as simple as it is. Uh, a bit more advanced than what I've shown you previously, but it's not too bad. Uh, we've got the switch here to get out, and we want a PC to, for it to connect to. And going to connections, if it wants me to connect, we go copper straight through cable. The topology tells me port 6 on the switch into port 0 of the PC. So they're connected. We'll go into the PC and configure its IP address first. That's what I normally do. Go into desktop, IP configuration. The IP address the uh, addressing table tells me is 192.168.1.10. And the subnet mask is correct, 3255 and a 0. That's that one done. Now, moving on to the switch, we go into that and we go into CLI. So now we are in the switch. To get into user exec mode, type in enable or en as I like to do. You type in conf t or configure terminal, that gets into global configuration mode. This is where you make most of your changes and settings. So first off, we want to do the host name, or we'll change the um, yeah, change the switch name, I guess. So we type in host name S1. It tells us, and as you can see, the change has been made. It is S1 instead of just switch. Very good to use because you, who knows? It could be switch 10. It could be could be switch anything, uh, but it's always best to name it relevant to what it's doing, I guess. So if it's a connecting to a web server or something like that have it relevant to what it's doing now in terms of the password um, access for user exec mode you type in enable secret class you can type in whatever you want after secret that's just the password you're using to get it um, past enable basically so enable secret class there to prevent unwanted domain name system lookups you type in no IP domain lookup that's that command done. Another good security measure is the message of the day. So you type in banner MOTD, I usually use dollar signs and something along the lines of unauthorized access is prohibited. Exclamation mark for a bit more effect. So that's another measure. That is what people will see once they log into the switch or somehow get access to the switch. And we'll go exit and exit again. So now here comes our banner message right there. Unauthorized access is prohibited. So we type in enable and now it'll ask us for a password. So I'll get it wrong and I'll type in class and now I have access to user exec mode. Perfect. Next off, we'll go into global configuration mode once again, and we're going to set the IP address for the switch. So to do this, we type in interface or int VLAN1, that's what the address table tells me. Now we want to type in the IP address for it. So we type in IP address 192.168.1.2, and then the subnet mask, which is 255 times three with a zero on the end of it being a class C network. We've set the interface with an IP address and subnet mask but now I've got to activate it. So we do that by typing in no shut or no shutdown. So that's basically the opposite of shutting down the interface. And as you can see it is now changed to up. More security. Great. We want to protect the console by password and also telnet so we'll do this right here in config mode type in line con zero so that's line console zero for short now we're in the line so we type in password cisco or whatever you want Cis for cisco labs it's usually password cisco type in login and you exit we've done the console now now we want to do the line, uh, sorry, the uh, telnet access. We do line VTY 0 to 4. It's basically the same thing again. Password, Cisco, login, exit. Now the 
the console is set and telnet access is set with the password Cisco so you need to type in Cisco to basically get access we want to get out of this exit show run just to see if we've done the right things I'm pretty sure we have but uh, I'll be able to double check regardless hostname s1 is highlighted on the prac enable secret all those random characters that just means class is assigned in there if it is encrypted obviously no IP domain lookup is done as a command not much would have been done to the interfaces except for VLAN 1 which we assigned the IP address 192.168.1.2 and the subnet mask there and there's our banner message of the day and as we can see here password Cisco for the console and for Telnet access so we've done basically all there is for that sort, those side of things and next we will do, be doing a bit of pinging so we're going to verify connection we've got a ping PCA which is 192.168.1.10 I'm pretty sure I'll just double check that one yep that's correct and we're all good pinging correctly now we'll check that PC1 is doing the same so we're going to ping the switch from here 192.168.1.2 ping that beautiful we're getting a few replies back so that's always promising and next actually supposed to stay in there next we want to test a bit of telnet so we do this in the command prompt telnet 192.168.1.2 and there's the banner message once again now we got to type in the password oh got it wrong Cisco enable and we got to type in class to get access to the switch so now we're in switch 1 via telnet through PCA not a great idea to use telnet though always good to go with SSH because it's a lot more secure and the last command it tells us to do is copy run start so it's copying the configuration destination file name enter ok alright that's the prac 2335 configuring a switch management address for Cisco that's basically all um, feel free to check out my other tutorials I've got some other Cisco stuff and just general computer topics uh, feel free to like the video if you enjoyed it, share it around to all your mates so they can see it. Don't forget to subscribe as well for plenty more content to come out. And uh, thanks for sticking around guys, and I'll catch you all next time.